Okay, guys, so before you actually can start sinking into your um, stump to create your bowl, you have to figure out how to measure it correctly so you have the right size disc, okay? So each and every one of you are going to get a six by six piece, but your end bowl is going to be a little bit smaller than a six by six, um, than, a, than a six inch diameter um, bowl because you don't want to come all the way to the edges and saw and then have this big flat spot, okay? So what I did was I made this a little bit smaller, and I'm going to have to measure it because I actually don't remember. It's probably like five and three-fourths or something like that. Yeah, it's exactly five and three-fourths, so it's a fourth inch shy, right, of the sides. So what I did was I made a template, and how I did that was I used this compass right here. So if I'm finding that I need it to be five and three-fourths diameter, I actually have to find the radius on this, right? I love math. Okay. So I'm going to use my ruler, and I'm going to say, okay, well, half of five and three-fourths is? Two. No, that would be four. So we know that half of five is two and a half, right? Mm -hmm. And half of six is three. So it has to be in between there. Does anybody have a guess? Or an educated guess? 2.875? Um, it's 2 and 7 eighths. Okay, so you're going to make it at 2. It's basically the eighth right before the 3. Okay? All right. So if you're confused on that, watch my video. Okay, so you're at 2 and 7 eighths. It's the eighth right before the 3. All right? So these are not the best compasses in the world, but I'm going to leave it like that and just don't move it. All right? Okay. So in order for me to find the middle of this square, if we know it's six by six, we can go up three inches, right, and go in from the side three inches. That's the easiest way to do it. All right? Know that these rulers, they start actually in from the edge. So I'm going to do three. And this isn't perfect. Um, not a, it's not cut by a machine, so it might be a little bit off, but as long as you're getting close. So that's my middle point, okay? So if I was trying to make this um, cut out, I would go ahead and cut it out, right? And the way you use this is put this here. Everybody got it? You guys all know how to do this, right? Okay. What I do, instead of turning this, I'll turn the paper because it's easier that way for me. So once you have this, you cut it out, put it down, center it, and you'll notice that it's about one eighth of an inch in from each side. All right? Doesn't have to be exact, it's just so you can cut it out nicely. Tape it down, saw it out. Okay? And then you have this. That was okay. great. Thank you. You can stop. <laughs> 